Hi everyone, my name is Matt Corker and I'm here to offer you 30 minutes of movement that is perfect to wind down your day. Um, all you'll need is a yoga mat and your breath. Follow along with me. Today we'll start standing at the top of your mat in a wide leg version of Tadasana. So I'll show you what it looks like. Instead of having your feet hip distance apart, widen your feet a little bit more so that you can softly bend your knees and feel rooted and grounded on your mat. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Soften the elbows down and let the shoulders draw down too. Allow your chin to be slightly tucked to get out of any fight or flight or freeze responses you've been in all day. And if you feel comfortable in doing so, feel free to close your eyes. Notice how your breath may change just with the simple communication or sensation of your hands on your body. For these next three breaths, allow them to be as big or as small as you would like them to be. Without putting any pressure or added tension or expectation into this moment. Allow your breath to be what your breath is. Allow yourself to be who you are in this moment. Beautiful. Release your arms down and exhale. Inhale your arms to the sky and look up as the palms come together to touch. Exhale and interlace your hands behind your back, your right thumb on top. Have a soft bend in your elbows. Inhale and lift the chest up. Reach your knuckles towards your heels or at least a foot away from your heels. And exhale, softly bend the knees, hinging from the hips to come into a forward fold with your hands clasped behind you. Bend your right knee a lot and look over to the left. Straighten your legs as you exhale. Bend your left knee a lot and look over to your right. Maybe your left shoulder and left knee get closer to touch. And exhale, come back through center in your forward fold. Release your arms down. Bring your hands to your shins and halfway lift, lengthen the spine, breathe in. Fold forward, let everything go. Roll up to stand for four, three, two, one. Deep exhale as you roll the shoulders back and down. Bring your feet hip distance apart in a more traditional Tadasana position. Inhale, the arms lift up, sharpen your elbows straight. Exhale, bend your knees, sit into your chair as you feel weighty. Stay here for a moment and see if you can lift up all of your 10 toes and then intentionally spread them wide. Then one at a time, drop just your pinky toe down, then your fourth toe down, then your middle toe down, your second toe down, and then your big toe down. So your feet are nice and spread. Your toes are nice and spread. Take a big exhale here. Inhale, lift your right knee up as you stand tall on your left leg. Cross the right thigh, cross the right ankle over the left thigh into a figure four, and sit back down into your chair. We'll do that with the opposite side. Inhale. Right knee up, both feet down, sit into your chair. Shift responsibility to your right foot, left knee lifts up as you straighten your right leg. Cross left ankle over right thigh, sit down into your chair, figure four. Inhale to lift the left leg up, both feet down, chair. One more time, both sides. Inhale, stand tall on left, right knee up, cross figure four. Exhale, sit down into a chair. Inhale, lift up, right knee up. Both feet down, chair pose. Stand tall, lift left knee up. 
cross left ankle over thigh, figure four, sit down into your chair as you breathe out. Inhale, stand tall, left knee up, left foot down, forward fold, breathe it all out. Begin to wiggle side to side, left and right, and allow there to be a fluid sensation in the body. So for me, that means I'm light on my fingertips. My head gets to wave side to side, back and forth, letting something melt away. So whatever was structured and rigid today, maybe finding a little bit more fluidity or integration today. Place your feet firmly on the earth. Rise up to stand, big breath in. Hook the thumbs up, lean back, turn it into a back bend, forward fold all the way down. Left foot steps back, breathe in into your lunge. Exhale, drop that knee down. Inhale, low lunge, torso and the arms reach to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog, both hands down, step right foot back, lift your hips up. Come forward to a high plank, please. Breathe in, shoulders over wrists. Drop your knees down, drop your chest down, drop your chin down. Push your hips towards the mat, point your toes back, lift your chest up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg to the sky, breathe in. Step forward in between your hands and drop the back knee down. Inhale, low lunge, Anjane Asana. Inhale, the arms to the sky. Step forward and fold as you breathe out. Rise all the way to stand, reach your arms to the sky and back bend, hooking the thumbs. Exhale, Tadasana, stand tall, arms down. Inhale, lift the arms up, back bend. Fold forward as you breathe out. Right foot steps back this time, lengthen in a lunge. Exhale, drop the back knee down softly. Anjane Asana, reach your arms forward and up into your lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot goes back this time. Come forward into your high plank, breathe in. At the same time, lower knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Push the hips down, point the toes back, lift the heart forward and up, cobra. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes. Inhale, high plank or all fours, breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Reach your right leg to the sky, inhale. Step forward in between your hands, drop the back knee down to the earth. Anjane Asana, low lunge, lift your arms forward and up, breathe in. Step forward and fold as you breathe out. All the way up, back bend, turn it into a big opening. Arms up, stand tall, arms come down. One more each side, inhale, arms up. Back bend, fold, breathe out. Left foot back, inhale, drop the back knee, exhale, arms forward and up for a low lunge, Anjane Asana, downward facing dog, takes you back, right foot steps back, forward to plank, breathe in, the same time lower knees, chest, chin to the ground, hips go down, point the toes back, chest comes forward, cobra, Exhale, all the way down, tuck your toes. Inhale to a high plank, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Left leg up, breathe in. Step forward in between your hands, drop the back knee to the earth. Anjane Asana, inhale, lift the arms to the sky, breathe in. Step forward and fold at the top of your mat, breathe out. Rise to stand, sweep the arms back and up and back bend. Arms come down, stand tall. Last side, inhale, in, 
Lift the arms up, back, forward fold, breathe out. Right foot steps back, inhale, lower the right knee down, exhale. Anjane Asana, lift the arms to the sky, breathe in. Find downward dog, both hands down, left foot steps back, hips high. Forward to a high plank, please, breathe in. Together, knees, chest, and chin touch the ground. Hips go down, point the toes back, lift the chest forward and up. Lower everything down to the earth, breathe out. Tuck the toes, inhale, high plank. Downward facing dog, as you breathe out. Right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Step in between the hands, as you breathe out, drop the back knee down. Anjane Asana, reach your arms to the sky, breathe in. Step forward and fold as you breathe out. All the way up, arms to the sky, lift up, chest up, everything goes up and back. Stand tall, Tadasana, breathe out. Take a moment here to bring your feet together and your hands either by your side or on your body to integrate everything you experienced. So with this cooling practice, we'll build some heat still, but the intention of it is so that it'll burn away anything that doesn't serve you anymore. So you feel a sense of relief and release. Coming into tree, start by, folks, find your right hip and begin to open it up towards the right. So your right toes may begin to open up. Then lift your heel up so that the sole of the foot is just outside the left, the inside of the ankle. Maybe you can scooch it up a little higher onto the calf. Maybe a little higher up onto the outside of the knee. Maybe even a little higher up above the knee. You can use your right hand to scooch however far you would like to go that is comfortable. Take your right hand and place it on the top of your right knee and lift your right knee into your hand as you push your right hand down into your knee. Lift your left arm to the sky and lengthen, create so much length through the left side of your body and then begin to arch up and over top in this balancing position. So as you arc over to the right, you're pushing down through your upper body and lifting up through your lower body. <laughs> what a joy. Take a big breath in here. Slowly release the arc. Release the foot down to the mat. Both feet hip distance apart and breathe out. Inhaling together. Exhaling together. Become together to touch. Find your left hip, turn it out so that the left toes point out on a diagonal. Lift onto the left toe so that the heel is lifted and finds the inner ankle. You can stay here, this is perfect. The other option is to start seeking that foot a little higher up. Now often you'll hear yogis be like, don't put your foot on your knee, and you're allowed to as long as you create stability on the standing leg. You can use your left hand to find a position that allows you to feel strong and stable with this variation. Tree pose, left hand finds your left thigh. Push down into the thigh as your thigh pushes back up into the hand. Use that stability to lift your right arm to the sky. As you're lifting up, think about creating so much length on the right side of the body that you could lift up and over top of yourself as you arc to the left. Feel grounded down, let your shoulders relax on the left side, but extend up on the right. Push the hand and the knee together a little bit more and take a big breath in, a bigger breath out. Come back up, stand tall, and slowly release everything down to the mat. Inhale, lift both arms to the sky. Fold forward 
as you breathe out. Left foot steps back to your lunge position. Drop your back heel down to the mat. Mm -hmm. Then straighten your front leg as you windmill the body up. The left hand finds your left hip. Your right arm reaches up and back, just like you did on tree pose. Now, find the left hip and scooch it down and communicate so that the, you create space through the left side waist as you lengthen the right side waist as well. So this is reverse triangle. Take a big breath in, keep your left hand where it is, but then stick your hips into the left hand as you hinge your hips back as your chest comes forward into triangle pose. As soon as you can't reach forward anymore, the right hand comes down, dancing just on the front shin. Take a big breath in here, and a big exhale. Sweep your left arm forward, bicep by the ear to extend your triangle. Exhale, both hands come down, lift the back heel up. Three-legged dog, lift your right leg to the sky, breathe in, and then step to the outside of your front foot. Drop your back knee down, and this time in this lizard variation, you can keep your hands on the ground with your elbows extended, so straight arms, or you can begin to walk your hands forward, maybe even off of the mat. If you have a pillow or some blocks, maybe you rest your forearms down on those, or you let your elbows rest down onto the mat. We're gonna be here for five breaths. So rather than going to a depth where you feel short of breath, consider finding a position that allows you to easefully breathe. We're not breaking any records doing yoga here. <laughs> but we may be able to break through using our breath. Can you try being a little softer here? Take a big breath in. And a bigger breath out. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders if they were um, lowered. And then step back to a downward facing dog. Notice the asymmetry in the body and the joy that can come when we get to do a second set. Inhale, lift your heels, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees and look forward. Step, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift as you breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Rise to stand, reach your arms to the sky. Tadasana, stand tall, arms come down by your side. Lift the arms up, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Your right foot steps back, breathe in. Spin the right heel down as you breathe out. Spin up into a reverse triangle. So straighten your left leg, right hand to right hip, left bicep by the left ear, and lean back. Plug your right hand onto your hip strongly so that both sides of the waist begin to extend. Push down through the back foot like your rudder, push down through your front foot like it's steering you in the right direction and let your vision take you upward. Keep your right hand at where it is. Begin to cut your hips back into your right hand for triangle pose. Reach forward with your left arm as far forward as possible until that left hand just dances by the left shin. Inhale together here. Exhale to twist a little bit more. Inhale to find your hands on the ground, the lunge. Exhale, pause. Lift the left leg up and back to three-legged dog. Breathe in. 
This time, step the foot outside the hand, lower the back knee to the ground. Lizard on the second side. Again, you can stay upright here and just play with softening your hips to the ground. Often, that left hip wants to sag out to the left, so can you bring the right hip forward and cut the left hip back? Maybe play with walking your hands forward, maybe off your mat. Maybe lowering your elbows down onto a block, a pillow, or the mat. We're here for five breaths. And there's something about knowing that there's a beginning, a middle, and an end to each pose that allows our mind to stop wandering. We don't need to know how long this is going for. You can count the number of breaths. And I count pretty slow, so if you're already at five, you've got two more breaths. Last breath in together. Last breath out together. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders and breathe in. Find a downward facing dog as you breathe out. Ah, symmetric. Inhale, lift the heels high, breathe in. Bend your knees, look forward. Step, step forward to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward and breathe out. Rise to stand, reach your arms to the sky. Fold forward right away and breathe out. Left foot steps back, breathe in. Spin the back heel down as you breathe out. Reverse triangle, spin all the way up, back, straightening the front leg, left hand on hip, arch back. Triangle pose. Hips cut back, reach it forward, right arm comes down. Extended triangle, let your left bicep cut forward over top your ear. Exhale, lunge, both hands down, lift the back heel up. Three-legged dog, inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Step outside the right hand, drop the back knee to the earth. Now for this, point your right toes out on a diagonal. So if 12 o'clock was forward, 6 o'clock was back towards the back of your mat, 3 o'clock was to your right, and 9 o'clock was directly to your left, point your toes out to where 1 or 2 o'clock would be. Then softly begin to shift the responsibility into your left hand so that your right hand is free to come onto the inside of your right knee. Perhaps you roll over onto the outside of your right foot, the pinky toe edge. So you sink the hips down as the right hand pushes down and you turn it into a little bit of a back bend. Option one is to stay here. Option two, reach your right arm to the sky and behind you and grab the back foot as you bend the back knee. Think about bringing your hips down as you lift the heart up. Push down through your left arm, your left hand, as you spin your chest around towards the ceiling. This is a big pose, so stay for one more full breath and then softly release everything down, find downward facing dog. Lift the heels, breathe in. Bend the knees, look forward, step, step forward, halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Rise to stand, reach your arms to the sky and up. Arms come down, breathe out. Last side, inhale, arms sweep up, look up, yawn up. Fold forward as you breathe out. Right foot steps back, breathe in. Right heel comes down as you breathe out. Reverse triangle, reach the right arm up and back, left arm follows, right hand to right hip, straighten the front leg, make it really big. Cut your hips back into your right hand as you reach forward with the left 
and then the left hand just dances down. Extended triangle, right bicep cuts forward over top right ear. Exhale, both hands down, lift the back heel up. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog, breathe in. Step outside the right hand as you breathe out. Drop the back knee to the earth. Find 11 o'clock on the diagonal, so your toes are pointing out, your left toes are pointing out to the side. Spin the hip open, allowing yourself to come to the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Give your right hand more responsibility and lift up and place your left hand to the inside of the left thigh. Stay here, option one, and breathe. Option two, lift your left arm to the sky, bend the back knee and reach for the pinky toe side of that back foot. Lift up and open up again Think about dropping the hips down as you lift your chest forward. Push down into the right hand to spin your chest up. From the center of your circumstance, go and create a circle all the way around yourself. So you drop a bigger circumference from knee through hip to chest to top of the head and it connects through to your foot down the shin to your knee, and you get to go around yourself the entire time. Breathe in together, breathe out, find downward facing dog. This time walk your feet towards your hands. Drop your butt down onto the ground behind you, and come lying down onto your back. After some big back bends like that, it, fe it may feel really nice just to take a few breaths all the way into the back body. So you breathe in a way that you can feel the breath press into the mat behind you. Feel the support of the ground beneath you. Your knees can be bent or straight, whichever you prefer. Just take a moment to integrate. Widen your feet out as wide as your mat and slowly begin to knock your knees over to the left and to the right. Don't worry about a full range of motion just yet. Just allow them to settle. Allow the speed or heat that was generated to slow down. And as your body slows down, you may notice your breath starting to slow down as well. Knock your knees all the way over to the left. Option is to stay here. Another option is to bring your left ankle on top of the right knee. And you want to think about drawing that right knee closer to uh, the short edge of your mat furthest away from you. So what was the top of your mat? And I like to cactus my arms in twists like this and look to my right to really allow myself the completion of this twist. Stay here for three slow and sweet breaths. One. Two, three. Bring your head back to center. Bring your knees back through center. Both feet find the ground. And slowly, windshield wiper left and right, adding back that quality of water, that cooling property of slow, fluid movement back into the body. When you're ready and in your own time, bring your knees all the way to the right and let them settle where they land. 
stay here or lift the right ankle on top of the left knee. And with that form of communication, draw the left knee closer to the short edge of the mat. It's just a directional experience. We're not moving necessarily any of the big gross muscles. Gross meaning big, not disgusting. <laughs> Again, find your arms in cactus if that felt comfortable on the first side. And maybe you turn your head to the left to complete the twist. One. Two. Three. Slowly bring your gaze up to the ceiling, come back through center, release both feet down, hug your knees in toward your chest to give yourself one final squeeze and squeeze everything. So squeeze your forearms, your fingers, flex your toes, flex your feet, bring your forehead close to your knees, really scrunch up your face, get every muscle in your body engaged as much as possible and then let everything go and lie down on your back with your legs extended. Maybe your ankles flop open into a V, your arms down by your side with your palms face up. If it feels good to do so, please close your eyes. With this rest pose, allow this moment to be where things go to be put to rest. So whatever came before this moment, whatever happened in this class, before you pressed play, before you even got into the space you are right now, know that it is done. It has happened and it is over. And though the circumstance and the relationship and things may continue on, whatever has happened has happened. And just by arriving on this mat and you doing these simple movements to create more mindful behavior and practices in your body, you are different. And so the character, the actor in which will be reintroduced to those circumstances and those relationships will be different. Enjoy this space, this possibility of who you get to be when you finish your rest. Stay as long as you need to lying down on your back. I'm gonna leave you here. It's been a pleasure practicing with you. I'll see you everywhere.